You probably have watched technology movies in popular culture where we could use technology to destroy ourselves. What if what you watch in The Matrix, The Terminator and Blade Runner, among others, could come true? Welcome to the world of cyborgs, the merging of human biology with cutting-edge technology, where the future of artificial intelligence looks terrifying to us. But what if these advanced technologies could be used to help change our world? In today's video, we look at how cyborgs are set to transform our future from healthcare and everyday living to exploration and beyond, and of course, the ethical implications that come with it. So join me on this venture into the exciting world of cyborgs. And if you're new here, please subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications to never miss an update. So let's get started. Can you imagine having a brain-computer interface that hooks right into your brain and connects to an app on your device? And that's exactly what Cyborg is all about. Cyborgs, short for cybernetic organisms, are beings that integrate both biological and artificial components. And although the idea of cyborgs may sound strange and only confined to science fiction, it's a burgeoning reality that's going to be here with us for the longest. The concept of cyborgs traces back to ancient myths where gods and heroes sported artificial limbs and extraordinary abilities. Fast forward to the 20th century and we saw the advent of prosthetics, pacemakers and cochlear implants, which were the earliest glimpses of cyborg technology. Today, scientists have made significant strides in neural interfaces and wearable devices, bringing us closer to a new era of human augmentation. The driving force behind advancing cyborg technology is to give humans super abilities to control objects with their minds. And thanks to advancements in technology, we already have cyborgs living among us. The first human to go cyborg is Neil Harbison, a British artist who has an antenna implanted into his skull to allow him to hear colors. We also have Temple Grandin, who is an American animal behaviorist who has autism and uses a computer to help her communicate. Of course, these are just a few of the people around the world who boast of being the earliest cyborgs on Earth. And as this technology continues to advance, you can be sure that cyborgs will be the norm. In fact, looking at the alarming rate at which artificial intelligence is growing, it may not take long before this technology is democratized to the whole world. It's estimated that just in 30 years from now, artificial intelligence would have advanced far to result in what's known as artificial superior intelligence all over the world. And in 40 years, human beings will be able to merge with AI across the globe. And to make it even scarier is that in 50 years from now, we will have robots with human level consciousness in homes. So far, we have companies like SpaceX that are already manufacturing intelligent robots for public use that have human attributes. Their language models are super amazing and they can have in-depth conversations just like humans. And so, as a result of these scary developments, the controversial Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk thinks the best way to avoid being reduced to useless beings by artificial intelligence is augmenting ourselves as soon as possible and transitioning into cyborgs to effectively compete with robots. It's no wonder that Elon Musk established Neuralink, a human augmentation technology company that aims to infuse chips in humans and link them to computers in a safe way. Indeed, this is going to be an interesting moment in human history. Now, to be a cyborg, you need to first decide on the changes that you want the technology to make in your body to help you make the work around you much easier. But I know you're already asking, what is the significance of human augmentation? Do we really need to go cyborg? And how will cyborgs change the world in the future? Well, human augmentation will now allow human beings to do literally everything they do much better, both physically and mentally. And cyborgs have a major impact on the future here on Earth. One of the most profound impacts of cyborgs on our future lies in healthcare. Imagine a world where disabilities are no longer limitations, but opportunities for enhanced capabilities. Neural implants could enable paralyzed individuals to walk again, giving them newfound independence. Retinal implants may restore vision to the blind, bringing colors and beauty into their lives. Bionic arms could help humans to outwork even robots in factories. With advanced prosthetics, athletes could break records and artists might create masterpieces beyond imagination. And not just that, with chips in our bodies, we'll get rid of many diseases using smart technology, machine learning and artificial intelligence to detect diseases much earlier, and so we live longer and be healthier. In short, AI could allow humans to be immortal or prolong human life. Honestly, the convergence of biology and technology holds the key to unlocking human potential like never before. But besides that, there's another mind-boggling aspect of cyborgs, and that's the mind-machine interface. Imagine having direct access to the internet or communicating telepathically with others. Brain-computer interfaces, abbreviated as BCIs, are breaking barriers in how we interact with the digital world. 
and controlling devices with our thoughts to transferring information instantaneously, BCIs are set to redefine communication and make traditional interfaces obsolete. The implications for education, research, and even the entertainment industry are simply staggering. In addition, cyborgs could also have a significant impact on space exploration. As humanity's curiosity propels us further into the cosmos, cyborgs may play a pivotal role in our space exploration endeavors. As you know, our bodies are not built for the harsh conditions of space, but cyborg technology could change that and save the planet for good. Augmenting astronauts with cybernetic enhancements could increase their adaptability to different environments, boost physical endurance, and even enhance cognitive functions. All of these are possible with little cybernetic modifications. For instance, we could create night vision to allow astronauts to walk even in the dark with no need for light. In line with that, we can modify the temperature receptors to be adaptable to extreme temperature so that they can eliminate the need for heat controllers. This could open up new frontiers in our quest to explore distant planets and galaxies. Beyond personal enhancements, cyborgs have the potential to address pressing environmental challenges. Symbiotic relationships between humans and technology could lead to a more sustainable world. For instance, imagine biochemical implants that harness energy from the body's movements to power devices. Cyborg-inspired biomimicry might also inspire us to develop innovative solutions for conservation, waste management, and renewable energy. Now, even though cyborgs present potential benefits to humans in the future and could positively impact the future of humanity, there are several ethical and societal concerns raised concerning these technological advancements. First, the issue of vulnerability to cyber threats is a serious concern. Imagine hackers gaining unauthorized access to someone's neural interface or manipulating their augmented sensors or body parts that poses a serious risk to human beings since a hacker can take control of your brain and even reduce seizures. Therefore, cybersecurity needs to be enhanced going into the future so that the safety of our identities, memories, and even physical well being is guaranteed. That means for cyborg technology to succeed, then the development of resilient security measures must be critical to ensure that the benefits of cyborg technology outweigh the risks. Another ethical concern is whether or not it's possible to reverse and get back to the original state after you program your brain to work with the cybernetic enhancements. Some think it's not possible, while others think anything is reversible. For instance, if you program your brain to work with cochlear implants, is it possible for you to regain your hearing capabilities when the device falls off or gets damaged? So the proponents of cyborgs also need to consider this concern. Besides, cyborg technology could also advance the class divide and create an inequality gap in our society. The rich may easily get access to these technologies, easily creating a new class of superhumans who are superior to the rest of us, and that's a big problem for society. So there you have it, guys. As you've seen, the integration of technology and humanity has the power to transform our lives in unprecedented ways. From healthcare miracles to mind-bending interfaces and space exploration, cyborgs represent the next chapter in our evolution. However, as we embark on this futuristic adventure, Let's remember the importance of ethical considerations and security, ensuring that we have a path towards a brighter future and a more harmonious future for all. What's your take on the democratization of cyborg technology in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing content like this. And thanks for watching.